The Council on American Islamic Relations and the Huffington Post are doing what CARE and HuffPo do best. Yep, they're whining. This time, they're whining about the notorious Islamophobe, Franklin Graham, son of Billy Graham and president of the relief organization Samaritan's Purse, being invited to pray at the presidential inauguration. Now, if you follow the work of Graham's organization, Samaritan's Purse, you're probably thinking to yourself, isn't this the organization that just opened a hospital in Iraq to care for the men, women, and children who are fleeing ISIS? Isn't this the organization that's been delivering food, clothing, and medicine to Muslims in Iraq since 2014? Isn't this the organization calling on Christian medical professionals to travel to the Middle East to risk their lives to save refugees? Saving Muslim Lives the surest sign of an anti-Muslim bigot. According to Nahad Awad, the National Executive Director of CARE, Reverend Graham's ill-informed and extremist views are incompatible with the Constitution and with American values of religious liberty and inclusion. And when we consider some of Franklin Graham's comments over the years, we see why Muslims would be concerned. After all, in sermons and interviews after 9-11, Graham did say things like, Fight those who believe in Muhammad. Strive hard against Muslims and be unyielding to them. Surely Jesus has bought Christians for this, that we should go to heaven. We fight in Jesus' name, so we slay and are slain. Fight the Muslims who are near you and let them find in you hardness. Jesus is the Messiah, and those who are with him are severe against Muslims and merciful among themselves. I have been commanded to fight against Muslims until they declare that there is no Lord but Jesus. Wow, Nahad Awad is right. These extremist views are incompatible with the Constitution and with American values of religious liberty and inclusion. Oh wait, it wasn't Franklin Graham who said these things. It was Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, who said to his followers, Fight those who believe not in Allah, nor the last day. Strive hard against the unbelievers and the hypocrites, and be unyielding to them. Surely Allah has bought of the believers their persons and their property for this, that they shall have the garden. They fight in Allah's way, so they slay and are slain. Fight those of the unbelievers who are near to you and let them find in you hardness. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those who are with him are severe against disbelievers and merciful among themselves. I have been ordered to fight the people till they say there is no God but Allah. But now I'm confused. If it's wrong and immoral and un-American for Franklin Graham to say that a religion that calls for the violent subjugation of unbelievers is evil, why isn't it wrong and immoral and un-American for Muhammad to command Muslims to slaughter unbelievers in the name of Allah? Consistency, the cardinal vice of leftists. It almost seems like Care and HuffPo have two completely different sets of standards, a very high standard for Christian preachers and an extremely low standard for Muslims. Christian preachers who save Muslim lives are viciously attacked for condemning the ideology that's getting Muslims and non-Muslims killed, while Muslim preachers who call for the deaths of the hypocrites and infidels are fortunate enough to have their violent ideology vigorously defended by the Western media. Maybe one day Karen and HuffPo will start to treat all human beings equally. Until then, it's up to us both to be morally consistent and to help the victims of jihad. I'm sure Care and HuffPo would like to help victims of jihad but they're just too busy whining about the people who are actually helping them. So if you'd like to feed and clothe the men, women, and children who are suffering in Iraq because of Muhammad's teachings, please visit the website of Samaritan's Purse. We put the link in the description box.